Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been angry at your electric company? I mean, really, have you ever felt like a victim, helpless in the face of ever-increasing power bills and unable to exert even the slightest pressure or leverage against them? I mean, really, what choice do we have? You need to have electric service. Everything we use requires electricity. Our laptops, our phones, cars, lights, television, our refrigerator, literally everything. It's it's really, it's just a ridiculous scam that's being forced on you, me, and everyone else in America. You have to be hooked up to the power grid and have service or you can't live in your own home. Whatever happened to the idea of freedom? Is it me or did people live for thousands of years without electric power? Not that I'm suggesting that people should live without electricity. However, the current system is clearly just a way to drain money from each and every American. And if that isn't bad enough, does the electric company ever have to reimburse you for your time or trouble or losses when they are unable to deliver power to your home? Have you ever gotten a credit on your bill for the five hours the power is out during a, a thunderstorm or, or the days it was out after the tornado or hurricane or, or superstorm hit your area? Ha, <laughs> bad chance. It has never happened. And still, we just have to eat it month after month price hike after price hike, power outage after power outage. You just have to grin and bear it. And you can't even go to a, another power company because each and every company has a monopoly in the areas they service. It makes you wonder who they paid off to get that sweet deal they have. But now you can get out from under their thumb and you can even force them to pay you. Finally, after years of being abused and forced to buy from the local power company, you can now turn the tables on them and use a small loophole in the law to extract money from them. I discovered this loophole and how to take advantage of it after I got so mad at my local power provider that I literally threw a temper tantrum in my front yard. And yeah, I was embarrassed when, when I, I did it and I realized that my neighbors had likely seen me, but more importantly, I was motivated to find a way to fight back. And I'll tell you all about it in just a moment. But first, let me introduce myself and why you should listen to each and every word I say. My name is Richard, and until I had my temper tantrum, I was just an ordinary guy. I was and am married to the most amazing woman, Emily. We have two children and a dog, and I worked in an accounting firm from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and my wife worked in banking. By all accounts, I was the average, everyday, middle-class, white-collar schmo. I made a nice living, had a solid retirement account, and spent my weekends relaxing around the house and camping with my family. You know, there are some things that really aggravated me. Now, I'm not an overly political guy, but the ever-increasing encroachment of the federal government into our lives made me mad. And I also don't trust technology too much either. Sure, I use it, but the fact that my computer seems to keep track of everything I do online really concerns me. But... You know, these kinds of things were just a part of American life. And then in 2007, 2008, the unthinkable happened. The U.S. real estate market collapsed and took the worldwide economy with it. Businesses started collapsing at a record rate, and that included many of my, my employer's clients. And we had several accountants working at my firm. And when the clients started dropping off, we all started to get concerned. First, they reassigned the client list to keep everyone working. Finally, it was obvious we were just losing too many clients, so they started a rolling unpaid week off policy. Every employee would take an unpaid week off every eighth week. Now, you know, we all accepted it because we didn't want to see layoffs start, but it hurt. Still, clients continued to drop off, so they gave everyone an unpaid day off every other week, along with the rolling week off. Then an unpaid day off every week. I think they were hoping some people would resign, but everyone was too scared. We were, after all, accountants, not known for our impulsive decisions. So finally, they started laying people off. Now, I'd been on the job long enough and brought in enough clients that I didn't get sent home, as they say, but I was only getting paid for four days a week and had to take an entire week off every eighth week. That's a pretty significant cut in pay, and at the same time, my wife got laid off too. She had unemployment, of course, but that only replaced a small part of her salary, over the next year and a half, it became obvious we were in trouble. Our retirement shrank to almost nothing with the stock market crash. Our house was over $150,000 underwater, and no matter how hard my wife tried, 
She couldn't find a new job. No one in banking was hiring. And all of this happened over a 12-month period. And at the same time, prices on virtually everything we bought were going up. Food prices were rising. Gas prices were on the way up. And if that weren't bad enough, that crooked power company kept asking the local utilities commission for rate hikes to cover the money they lost because of people cutting back on their usage. Let me say that again, okay? People would cut back on their electric usage because they couldn't afford the bill, then the power company would raise the rates to compensate. So basically, we would use less power and our bill wouldn't change that much. Now, when you're struggling to pay for a home and buy food, you've already cut off your cable and cell phone, and you turned a car in because you couldn't pay for it, and the electric company's answer to people using less of their product was to raise prices? Well, let's just say I was getting kind of angry about it. Still, we had to deal with the situation in front of us, so we kept scraping together the money to pay. No more dinners out, and we waited until movies were released on DVD to watch them. It was also a little hard to explain to our children why we were shopping at discount stores and thrift stores, but we all adjusted. All in all, Emily and I knew we had it pretty good. Things were tough, but the economy would rebound and we'd be okay. We had to withdraw some money from our retirement accounts, which, which really hurt because we didn't get the benefit of the run back up in stocks, but at least we didn't lose our home to foreclosure. Then one day it happened. I get home from work and grab the mail. As I sat in the car flipping through the mail, I saw a letter from the power company. This was obviously not a bill. It was a letter. So I took a deep breath and I closed my eyes and I didn't even want to open it. I knew we had not bounced a check and the bill was paid on time. So I didn't know what was in the letter, but I had a bad feeling I wasn't going to like it. And boy, was that an understatement. I tore the envelope open and pulled out the letter and I swear in my mind, it's like a slow motion movie. I unfolded the letter and started reading. The letter read, Dear customer, as a result of deferred maintenance to our infrastructure and declining revenues, it had become necessary to assess each of our customers an emergency surcharge on your bill. Until further notice, your monthly bill will include an infrastructure surcharge. At that point, I stopped and crumbled the letter in my hand, and I got to tell you, I started tearing up in frustration, then I was just shaking. Then, I screamed at the top of my lungs. I swear, it was such a guttural scream, and I screamed so loud my throat started hurting. I screamed again and again, and I can still remember the vibration in my chest and the sharp pain in my throat. Then I grabbed the prepaid cell phone that we kept in the car for emergencies, and I dialed. The phone rang once, then twice, then the automated attendant answered. I hit zero. The automated attendant asked what I was calling about. I hit zero. I need to know a little more to get you to the right. I hit zero. Please hold and I'll connect you to our next available representative. Now the poor girl who answered the phone that evening got blasted. I started screaming at her as if she had made the decision herself. What in the hell are you pieces of shit doing adding a surcharge for deferred maintenance? That means you didn't take care of your infrastructure and now I have to pay more to fix it? I hopped out of my car and I started kicking my tire. You dirty son because how many executives work for that cheating company who make three hundred or four hundred thousand or even two hundred thousand? Do you know what it's like out here? I'm barely hanging on. Every time I turn around, you holes are raising prices, and 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 now this, F you, F you thieving prince. And with that, I threw the phone to the ground and it shattered into a thousand pieces. Emily came out of the house about halfway through, and I, I was huffing and puffing and pacing back and forth like an angry dog. And I didn't see her walking up to me. And just like an angel, she touched my shoulder and whispered, It'll be okay, Rich. We'll manage. Come on inside and I'll get you some water. God in heaven, she is my angel. I walked inside and sat down and still so angry I was shaking. Emily, I'm going to find a way to get them back. I'm going to shove it right up their asses. What they're doing to us, to everyone, it's just not right. Sitting at the table that night, you know, I decided that I was never going to be a victim of the power company ever again. I knew I couldn't live off the grid. Emily would never go for it. And frankly, I didn't want to. I like things like air conditioning and refrigeration. The idea of cooking on a gas grill all the time and freezing or sweating every night just wasn't very appealing to me. So I started looking into ways to generate our own power. Some of the stuff was just goofy. Things like creating a Tesla coil and reversing some of the components so it would create electricity from the ether. 
Tesla was working on giving everyone free power, but he was stopped by the greedy power industry once they realized what he was doing. And that has led people to claiming to know Tesla's secret to generating power. Well, here's a secret. He never finished his research, so he didn't even know how. It was an admirable dream, but it didn't come true. And other people claim to have the secret to creating a perpetual motion machine and using that to generate electricity. That was just silly. And even without an electrical degree, I could tell it was unrealistic. But you know, solar seemed very exciting. So I started looking deeper into it. And one of the really cool things I found was that electric companies have to pay homeowners for excess power their solar rays create and put back on the grid. That seemed like the perfect way to get back at the power company. If I could generate enough power, they'd have to pay me. I found a few solar power companies operating in my local area and I called to get an estimate. When I saw what they wanted to install a solar array, I almost fell over. One company told me $12,387. And another company told me over the phone when I read the first estimate to them that they would do it for $10,500. And the last company came in at $14,000 even. You know, the last guy was the best salesman. When he saw the look on my face at his price, he responded, I know it seems like a lot. Don't worry. We finance and your bill will be less than you're paying for your electric bill right now, especially with that emergency surcharge. Now, I may be wrong, but it almost seemed like he was charging more because electric bills were higher thanks to the surcharge. I thanked him and showed him the door. And as soon as he was gone, I turned to Emily and said, I'm going to figure this one out myself. She looked at me like I had three heads. But seriously, I'm going to figure out how to build an array. They just cannot cost that much to build. And so I went about researching how to build a solar array that, that I could use for my own house. And I knew it had to be aesthetically pleasing. Emily wasn't going to, she wasn't going to go for a big old ugly thing on a roof. And I also wanted to make sure it wasn't too expensive. I mean, seriously. If it costs too much, it'd be better to have a solar company put it in and give me the warranties and all that stuff that comes with it. Most importantly, it had to work. I wasn't going to do all this work to be left with essentially a, a useless solar system. So I set out to learn everything that I needed to know to build and install my own solar system. Now, had I realized what I needed to know when I started, I may have decided against it. I mean, it took me every spare moment for more than four months to learn what I needed to learn just to build the system. And remember, I'm an accountant by training. I've, I've built some things as a teenager like most of us, but this was an entirely different level of work. I had to learn how to determine how much electricity we used and, and how much a solar array could collect. I needed to learn about batteries so that I could effectively store the energy for use at night. And... I had to learn how to test the solar panels before I installed them. It would be horrible if I installed an array and it wasn't working. What an incredible waste of time and money that would be. And in addition to all the things I needed to learn, I had to get good at, at things like soldering and which fasteners to use where and which adhesives to use for the best results. Basically, what I'm telling you is that if I can do it, you can do it. There is no doubt in my mind. So after I spent about four months learning, I was ready to build my first solar project. And I'll level with you. The first project went slow and it wasn't very pretty. And you know what? It worked. But Emily told me that if I thought she was going to stand for that ugly thing on her roof, I had another thing coming. Now, she's, she's not normally a real demanding woman, but she does have standards. And frankly, my first shot was ugly. So I went back to the drawing board. And it took three arrays for me to get something that looked good. You know, they all worked. That was the easy part. For me, it was the aesthetics that, that made things hard. Still, with a little bit of persistence and some elbow grease, I was able to start making beautiful functional arrays. Soon enough, the ones I made looked every bit as nice as the ones that professionals install. And it wasn't long before I started getting questions from my neighbors like, Hey, Richard, how much you got into that thing? I, I had a solar company come out and the price was ridiculous. Or, hey, Richard, how much did that save you on your electric bill? Hey, Richard, any chance I can pick your brain about how to build that? Hey, Richard, how much would you charge to put one of those systems at my house? Eventually, it became clear to me that people needed help with solar. Power companies constantly take advantage of their customers, and there's a lot to learn if you want to do this the right way. 
So in order to reach the maximum number of people, I put together USA Unplugged to show anyone how to easily and quickly build a beautiful solar system for their home and free themselves from the clutches of the greedy power companies. After all, why should we have to pay for power when the sun gives us an unlimited supply for free? Now inside USA Unplugged, you'll discover exactly how big your energy system needs to be to cover your usage, how my clever tips will squeeze the most electricity from your system, everything you need to know about battery storage, including full wiring diagrams, my insider secrets to dirt cheap battery storage. Now it's not what you might think. Plus, full step-by-step -step plans on building this ingenious home energy system and getting it ready to run your first appliance. You'll get care instructions so you can enjoy free electricity for the rest of your life. Plus, many more secrets that I stumbled across along the way when I built my own system. If I had to put a price tag on the amount of time and energy I personally spent during those four grueling months, it would be at least $10,000. That's $2,500 per month. Heck, it was basically a full-time job just learning everything at first since I didn't have a clear roadmap. But what took me months to learn and even longer to master, you can now have in minutes. And at just $47, I have made it incredibly affordable for every American. USA Unplugged is less than the cost of an average meal at Chili's or Outback. And it's much more valuable. When you decide to try USA Unplugged, you'll also receive everything you need to know about solar power to start the conversion process immediately. When you follow the steps I lay out, you'll know how much energy you need to generate, how many panels you need to generate that much energy, and exactly how to build and install them with ease so you can start to wipe out your power bill. The $98 solar panel. That's right. It is completely realistic to build a solar panel for just $98, and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. And while it likely takes several panels to, to run your home, at $98 a pop, you can start building one every week or even every month. If money is tight, at $98, you can still afford to build the panels you need. Making a wind turbine. Imagine sucking your energy needs right out of the air itself. Windmills have been used for centuries to harvest the energy that humans needed to do the work that needed to be done. Now you can do the same thing and harvest electricity right out of thin air. Let's face it, sometimes the sun isn't shining and sometimes the wind isn't blowing, so knowing how to use both methods will guarantee you never have to buy one kilowatt of energy more than is absolutely necessary from the power company. And on top of that, you'll get hours of step-by-step -step video tutorials that go over every aspect of building and installing a solar system and wind turbine system. I will walk you through each and every step in minute detail so you'll never have to guess about anything. You'll have a live demonstration for literally everything you need to do. And even though it took me hundreds of hours to discover all this information and learn it for myself, I want to make sure each and every person who wants this information can access it. Because I know how truly valuable it is. You get instant access to all the files, and, and since everything is digital, you can access it on your computer, smartphone, tablet literally any of your devices. And you can download them or watch the videos on, on our service. This way, if you are actually building something and run into a little trouble, you simply look at the videos and find the answer right there in your workspace. Gaining and using this valuable knowledge has never been easier. Now keep in mind, this isn't some pie in the sky virtual motion machine or some silly pull energy from the ether pipe dream. I'm offering you detailed and exact instructions on how to make solar and wind power work for you. The same technologies that the big guys have invested billions of dollars into. Now, let me ask you, if there was a virtual motion machine or a Tesla coil that could grab energy from the ether, don't you think some billion dollar company would be using those devices? Of course they would. And they're not because the technology isn't real. What is real, though, is solar and wind power. And in just moments from now, you'll have everything you need to start using them in your home. Never pay for another outrageous bill again. And you can even use these systems to force the power company to pay you. Since you have to be hooked up to the power grid 
when you're generating more power than you're using and your batteries are fully charged, the power you generate starts moving onto the power company's grid. That means in this situation, the power company is forced to be your customer. They have to pay you the power you provide them. Now imagine the satisfaction in getting a check from your power company for the power you sell them. The same way you've been forced to buy electric from the power company your whole life, now they'll be forced to buy electric from you. Some folks are calling the free money they claim power company rent checks because sometimes it's able to cover your rent, mortgage, car bills, and other monthly expenses without you doing any extra work. And even better, solar and wind power require very little from you after you build the system. You just sit back and let nature provide you with all the power and money you need. When you join the ranks of over 54,000 other patriots who have put USA Unplugged to work for themselves, you'll discover the joy of having a power company rent check show up month after month. Now, fair warning, as more and more people take advantage of the USA Unplugged system, traditional power companies will have to raise rates for existing customers in order to make up for the lost revenue. That will increase the speed in which people adopt the system. In this industry, this is known as the utility death spiral. The industry is terrified of this death spiral and is doing everything they can to stop it. That means you can't wait. If you would like to be free from the tyranny of power companies, you must try USA Unplugged and put it to use immediately. You need to do this before the billionaires who own the public utility companies are finally able to exert enough pressure on federal and state governments to make it almost impossible for you to install a solar system for your home. They won't be able to get rid of existing systems, but they can make it next to impossible to put new systems in. That means the time to take action is now, not tomorrow or next week or next month, now. In order to try USA Unplugged, just click the button below. In just minutes, you'll have access to the full USA Unplugged system where you'll discover exactly how big your energy system needs to be to cover your usage. How my clever tips will squeeze the most electricity from your system. Everything you need to know about battery storage, including full wiring diagrams. My insider secrets to dirt cheap battery storage, and it's not what you might think. Plus, full step-by-step -step plans on building this ingenious home energy system and getting it ready to run your first appliance. You'll get care instructions so you can enjoy free electricity for the rest of your life. Plus, many more secrets that I stumbled across along the way when I built my own system. Everything you need to know about solar power to start the conversion process immediately. When you follow the steps I lay out, you'll know how much energy you need to generate, how many panels you need to generate that much energy, and exactly how to build and install them with ease so you can start to wipe out your power bill. The $98 solar panel, that's right, it's completely realistic to build a solar panel for just $98, and I'm going to show you step by step how. And while it likely takes several panels to run your home, at $98 a pop, you can start building one every week, or even every month. If money is tight, at $98 you can still afford to build the panels you need. Making a wind turbine, imagine sucking your energy needs right out of the air itself. Windmills have been used for centuries to harvest the energy humans need to do work that needed to be done. Now you can do the same thing and harvest electricity right out of thin air. Let's face it, sometimes the sun isn't shining and sometimes the wind isn't blowing. So knowing how to use both methods will guarantee you never have to buy one kilowatt of energy more than is absolutely necessary from the power company. And on top of that, you'll also get hours of step-by-step -step video tutorials that go over every aspect of building and installing a solar system and a wind turbine system. I'll walk you through each and every step in minute detail so you'll never have to guess about anything. You'll have a live demonstration for literally everything you need to do. And if USA Unplugged doesn't do everything I promised it would, I'll pay you. That means there's absolutely zero risk when you try USA Unplugged today. I'm a big believer in doing good by other folks. 
That's what God would want. So I want you to try USA Unplugged for a full 60 days. If there's even one thing you find off about what I show you, I'll pay you back and you can still keep the program. There's literally no risk for you. I shoulder it all. Now, my wife thinks I'm crazy for doing this, but I know folks won't take advantage of me or my crazy money back guarantee. In fact, tens of thousands of people who are using these exact secrets right now couldn't be happier. Within days, you can start putting this powerful information to work for yourself. And once you have a solar system providing power to your home, your electric bill can virtually disappear. Now, considering the average electric bill is $1,335 a year, that's a hefty savings that lands right in your pocket. Heck, in some states, you could save as much as $1,526.15 per year. And we haven't even discussed the more important reason to be energy independent, to ensure your family's safety and security no matter what happens. You see... Every day, there are storms that knock out power somewhere in the U.S., but that's not the only worry. Large solar flares or coronal mass injections or CMEs can knock out the power grid over large areas at any moment, and we would have only 15 minutes of warning. The Daily Mail, a British newspaper, reported in 1859 a massive geomagnetic superstorm known as the Carrington event sent Powerful coronal mass injections toward Earth, disrupting communications on the ground. The story goes on. If such an event were to happen in today's world, the effects would be catastrophic. You see, when CME strike Earth, they cause geomagnetic storms and enhanced aurora. This is not some crazy doomsday fantasy. In the same story, the Daily Mail points out that in September of 2017, the biggest solar flare seen for 12 years erupted from the sun, causing blackouts on Earth. In short, this could happen at any minute. And when it does, it could be as simple as some blackouts, like in 2017, or it could be as disastrous as a complete shutdown of society. And only people who have educated and taken responsibility for themselves will have a chance to get through that disaster. Imagine no power to any business or house for a week. Cars would stop running because we wouldn't be able to pump gas from gas stations. No refrigeration, food transport disruptions, anarchy. However, with USA Unplugged, you will have all the comforts of home and everything you need to feed and care for your family. Heck, if you have an electric car, you would even be able to travel. That would be big news. But what if there was a different kind of disaster, something a bit less galactic in nature? Billionaire entrepreneur and economist Bill Bonner has continually warned that the path the global financial system is on is unsustainable. He has outlined a coming economic crash that would see massive disruptions in all the services we enjoy. In short, a complete societal collapse. While he is clear that the collapse will be temporary and he is sure that the authorities will quickly get things back under control, for the week or two that we could be in the thick of the collapse, being able to store and cook, etc., could be the difference between life and death. And that's not an overstatement either. When Hurricane Katrina destroyed Louisiana, 1,836 people died. Now, of course, some of those were in the storm, but there were many deaths in the looting and lawlessness afterwards. Guaranteeing that you and your family have power is one of the most important steps you can take in a disaster like that. And you can take the first step in protecting and providing for your family by clicking the button below. When you do, you'll be able to access the entire USA Unplugged system in minutes, and you'll be able to begin the process of building your first solar or wind power generators today. Just click the button below the presentation and I'll walk you step by step through the entire process of harnessing solar and wind energy to beat the power companies and guarantee your family's economic and physical safety. However, power companies are trying everything they can to ensure you cannot become energy independent. They want you locked into buying power from them and not producing your own. And who can blame them? After all, they've made billions of dollars forcing their victims. I mean customers, to pay outrageous fees for energy. Heck, 
They even stopped Nikola Tesla from doing his research. He was trying to harness free electricity for everyone. As soon as the powers that be understood they couldn't meter and charge for the power Tesla was trying to distribute, they immediately stopped him. Now, the technology exists for you to be truly energy independent, and the powers that be want to stop you. They don't care that their system is imperfect. They don't care that their system is antiquated. They don't care that their system might be doing tremendous harm to the planet. They just want to keep their hand in your pocket. I want to get it out. I want to help you keep your money. I didn't realize that my temper tantrum in my front yard all those years ago would transform my life forever. Now my full-time occupation is helping people like you become energy independent. I want to share with you the only legitimate way you can truly become energy independent. Not goofy stories or science fiction machines. Real, solid, acceptable, scientifically sound ways that you can literally grab energy out of the light from the sun and the wind. Just click the button below and let's get started risk-free. Folks from all across America are currently using these same insider secrets to flip the script on the power companies, giving normal everyday people the ability to claim their power company rent checks. Now you'll be the boss getting paid, not the other way around. Just click the button on this page right now and fill in your billing details on the next page to get instant and immediate access. Remember, you've got a full 60 days to try what I showed you in USA Unplugged. And if you're not 100% happy, I'll pay you back every red penny. And you can still keep all the training manuals and step-by-step -step videos. No questions asked, no hard feelings. You have nothing to lose but tons to gain. Act now and click the button below immediately.